CYC is a free channel presents the Word of God for everyone. Your support will help us to continue the mission. Visit our website, cycnow.com. Even a dollar will make a difference. For God alone, O oh my soul, wait in silence, for my hope is from Him. No matter your stage, status, or age in life, you have experienced having expectations. We expect love from our spouse, we expect obedience from our children, and we expect a paycheck from our job. So it's clear we know what expectations are. But what happens when we lose our expectation or our expectations seem to go un unanswered? People lose their expectation when too much disappointment happens, when they were hoping for something that they did not yet receive. When hope is deferred, it makes people not expect anymore and they become heart sick. Proverbs says, Hope deferred makes the heart sick, but when the desire comes, it is a tree of life. They stop looking for the good things to happen and almost become so pessimistic that they just accept whatever the world dishes out and decide to deal with the problems as they come. Things sometimes seem so bad that you just deal with where you are instead of expecting God to make things better. Like someone once said, keep hope alive. No matter what situation you are facing, keep expecting from God. Every day, expect something good to happen because you have been blessed with a new day. Don't let yesterday's disappointment dictate today's outcome. So no more trusting in people to meet your expectations. God is your best hope for things to keep getting better. Things will get better if you keep your hope and expectation in Him. Remember that there is nothing too hard for God. Jeremiah said, O Lord God, behold, you have made the heavens and the earth by your great power and outstretched arms. There is nothing too hard for you. Stay with us and let's look at the following story. Develop the trait of expectation. Expectation has the capacity both to enlarge and diminish your experience. It can inspire you to superhuman feats of several limits your life to the commonplace. For example, a patient is given medication for an illness. Another takes a sugar pill, assuming it to be a potent drug. Both recover with equal speed. The expectation that the sugar pill will be therapeutic produces the cure. Indeed, place bows are knowledgeable to be effective in 20 to 40% of medical cases. Another example is when a young woman decided she would only date and marry a man as fine as her father. Soon she had idolized her father to the point that no one measured up to her expectations. She sought a perfection that wasn't there and ended up never dating anyone. Her life was a daily disappointment. Principles of Expectation Maintain a flexible attitude. Be prepared to change within when circumstances indicate they're unlikely to be met. Don't invest too heavily in any one outcome. Keep your perspective approach expectations without reverence or attachment expectations are nothing more than wish and anticipation be prepared to change a key to reducing disappointment is a willingness to give up 
what you want when you can't get it. Example, if you have the expectation of purchasing a huge house but can afford only a starter home, you need to change your expectations or you will hate every day in the home that you can afford. Reduce your investment. Some people are overly invest in their expectations. In a culture where so many have so much, we take our wants very seriously and precisely. If we can't purchase the exact color and model we want, we pout. If the traffic doesn't move at exactly the right speed we want, we experience road rage. What you do in reality is a far better principle of individual merit than what you expect. Trim down your expectations. You don't deserve everything you can think of and you rarely have relationship with people who completely meet your expectations. No one is that perfect, including you. Reduce the number of expectations. Realistic hopes become reality far sooner than a myriad of unreachable dreams. Choose your dreams carefully. Change the nature of your expectations. Chronically disappointed people not only fail to develop realistic expectations, they also put too much wish and too little assessment in what they anticipate will happen. For example, Americans spend billions of dollars each year to purchase lottery tickets with big payoffs. Someone's got to win, so why not me, is the conventional wisdom. But what are the chances of retiring early on lottery winnings? The odds of winning are so low that it should never become an investment strategy. Yet this type of expectation is behind many disappointments. Be realistic. Take the time to think about your expectation. Ask not only is it possible, but also is it possible in this particular situation? Expect some disappointment. No matter how judicious you may be, there will be some disappointment in your life. Often great growth and insight can occur during disappointing times, especially when you anticipate and decide to learn from them. Maintain hope. Hope is an outlook, a perspective on the future that cannot be destroyed by a single loss. Life wishes may come and go, but hope remains a statement that we believe in tomorrow. And for the Christian, tomorrow is the hope of salvation and eternity with the Father. Let us pray together. My Lord Jesus Christ, thank you for this reminder that there is always hope if I am willing to trust in you, you alone are my rock and my salvation, my fortress where I will not be shaken. In Jesus' name, Amen.